right hand partnership here at the close of the innings and this third 50 just off 22 balls so they're uh, really getting some momentum in the end of this innings well at that rate 18 balls remaining we're looking for a score close to 200 so watson back into the attack and over the fence for six dilshan poking it over squarely six more that's been his favorite spot over deep square leg he's been toying with that fielder down there no difference this time down on that knee and using the pace of the ball Dilshan in this type of form you just cannot afford to give him any room to get underneath the ball we've seen him hit it over the keeper's head over square leg over mid wicket now through the offside, opening the face. This is a real strength of his. Diving away of the boundary there is Marsh. But couldn't stop the boundary. Very surprising once again. Length on offer. And that's Dilshan's bread and butter area. You just can't bowl outside the off stump to him. Nothing really working the Australian way at the moment. Watson on that occasion full. Dilshan could only get it down to deep mid on. You'd expect to see uh, more of that length at this stage of the game. We've seen quite a bit of the wicket. We're in the 18th over and we've seen how the batsmen are playing. It's surprising that the Australians, except for Brettley, are not looking to be too full. Well, they've had the intent with the change of pace, but they just haven't got the Yorker quite right here tonight. Such an important delivery in this form of the game to get the ball right underneath the batsman's feet. Full on this occasion, but it was a high-pitched ball, and it's going to land safely. Was it too high for a no ball? Just a slight discussion. But Watson gets away with it. The miss hit saving uh, Jeevan Mendes that time. Yeah, Watson on that occasion looking to go full and bowl the Yorker but just over correcting and getting it very full. Again Dilshan's wrists, the little bit of width that's all he needs. Plays the ball so lately, times it beautifully for another boundary. He's not got the feel for that. Bowling full and straight, not straight, he's bowling outside off stump. In, in the last four overs, Sri Lanka's racing away, accumulating 61 runs. Still a ball to go to, so it's 3.5 overs. Dilshan again over mid-wicket, getting underneath it for another six. 22 runs off the oval. Watson goes the journey in his final.